Hi and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Today the Lord inspired me to give a message from Proverbs 6. God really wants me to share that there are a lot of people out here praying to the Lord about their money and they're saying, God, I've been praying. Why am I still in this financial situation? Why are things not improving for me? And so much more. And God is wondering why you're even bothering to pray. You know, God has given us so many skills and knowledge and wisdom in order to create what it is that we sit here and we pray to God for relentlessly. Like, have you ever just sat here and prayed to God like, Lord, I could really use 10 grand or I could re really use 20,000 and, and you haven't seen it. Let's say by way of example, it hasn't come into your life. Meanwhile, the whole time God is saying, I gave you the skill set. I gave you the knowledge. I gave you the wisdom. I gave you the energy. I gave you the power to create what it is in order to get what it is that you've been praying for and you're still praying for it. No, it doesn't work that way. Pray to God to give you the knowledge to move you, to give you the skill set, the wisdom, and whatever it is, the skills that you need to get to whatever it is that you're praying to the Lord for. So in Proverbs 6, 6, it says, You lazy fool, look at an ant, watch it closely. Let it teach you a thing or two. Nobody has to tell it what to do. All summer it stores up food, at harvest it stockpiles provisions. So how long are you going to laze around doing nothing? How long before you get out of bed? A nap here, a nap there, a day off here, a day off there? Sit back, take it easy. Do you know what comes next? Just this. You can look forward to a dirt poor life. Poverty, your permanent house guest. This is real wisdom to share with people. You know, until you get out there, until you work hard for what it is that you have, you really can't look at anybody else and envy what they have going on. They work hard for the stuff that they have. I know my, by me, by, my, by way of example, I've worked extremely hard for what I have. And when people look at me and they're jealous, I mean, I can't tell you the number of times people tell me they're jealous of me and I just feel so grossed out by it. You know, don't be jealous of me. You have no idea what I've been through in this life. You have no idea what I've overcome, how much I've gone through, how much hard work I've put into what I have what I've created and what I will continue to create. Never be jealous of anybody, but work hard. I hope this message blesses you all. Remember the Lord favors what? Those who work hard because you will glorify God. People will look at you and say, look at that person, they work so hard. The spirit of the Lord is within them and look how God has favored them and blessed them. May this message inspire you to go out to take the skills and the knowledge that you have within you that God has blessed you with and to create what it is that you have been praying to God for. Take care and God bless.